Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox video and of course we are playing Defenders Depot 2 and I'm basically here to showcase the Obelisk which is the third Rebirth Tower that you can choose and compared to what it was back in Defenders Depot 1 it's like a really bad item. If you want to look at disappointment you can always look in the mirror but if you want to feel the disappointment then you can choose this as your first Rebirth Tower. What it basically does is, it stuns 10 enemies for 3 seconds in a chain effect in a 15.5 by 15.5 radius as you can see right here. It also takes up 5 by 5 just like every single rebirth tower that we have right now. And you know, it has a few pros, it's good against hordes of mobs. Um, it has a 3 second stun duration, but its attack speed is a lot slower than that so the enemies can escape whenever um, they get the chance. It's good against hordes of mob basically. Um, it can target both air and land so that's pretty good and it has a huge range. That's basically it. That's the only good thing about these these obelisks right here. Even if there's two of them they can't even stun, stun lock a group. Its cons are as I said it has really slow attack speed. It's really not worth it as a first rebirth item. Um, you'll like barely feel any difference in your gameplay. Um, it's only good, only good against hordes of mobs. And even then, the range of the chain is really small, so um, enemies that are like really close together, they're not going to be able to, um, they have to be like really close together, as you can see right here. Even if this guy's like, even if he's only that far, he can't even stun it, which is really, really sad um, compared to what it was back in the Defender's Depot 1. So, basically what I'm saying is don't choose this as your first Rebirth Tower, if I were to give it a tier, I would give it a C tier, possibly even a D tier. Um, if given the choice between a Defender's Depot 1 Obelisk versus the Defender Depot 2 Obelisk, the one from the first game is a lot better because it has better stunning capabilities and it can stun lock a horde of enemies, which is I guess what they tried to do with the Obelisk right now, but they really failed miserably. Um, the one from Defender's Depot 1 had better attack speed than targeting. Because it would auto target the enemies that are even behind if it's already stunned. So it's kind of sad what they've done to this, but hopefully they buff it really soon. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys later. See ya.